you ever look down at your sleeping pet and think how similar you guys are? Your dog may be as hyped as you are about an upcoming event, and your cat may be rolling your eyes with you at something annoying. There is a reason why the terms cat people and dog people exist. Your preference for felines or canines reflects inherent personality traits corresponding to your favorite animal. A study in the University of Texas assessed a large group of people on five main personality traits, commonly known as the Big Five, the parameters often used by psychologists. 1. Conscientiousness Your level of conscientiousness indicates your inclination towards diligence and organization when carrying out a task. Dog people were rated to be 11% more conscientious than cat people because their sense of duty and obedience makes them more likely to follow rules. This is not to say that cat people aren't willful, but they tend to question situations, motives, and orders as an act of self-preservation. 2. Agreeableness Your level of agreeableness shows how quickly and to what degree you trust others. Dog people are high in this attribute and are generous to everyone they meet, genuinely sympathetic to others' needs, and sometimes even gullible to a fault. Cat people, on the other hand, have a reputation for being standoffish because of their low level of agreeableness. They're often wary with strangers, taking time to gouge an individual and slowly warming up to them. 3. Neuroticism Your level of neuroticism refers to how well you can manage your emotions. Cat people are calculated to be 12% more neurotic than dog people because they possess a sensitivity that makes them more prone to worrying and overthinking. Since their spectrum of thought is much wider than that of dog people, they also spot more problems to stress over, real or imagined. Dog people are more easygoing and tend to be less anxious overall. 4. Openness Your level of openness indicates your reception to new things, readiness to explore, imaginative vividness, and intellectual curiosity. Cat people are said to be more open as they have a natural curiosity to discover and experiment more and hold unconventional beliefs. They have an independence that reflects that of their pet, allowing them to be sensitive and open-minded to creative and intellectual pursuits. Some interesting research shows that cat people are actually more likely to be atheists than dog people. Dog owners tend to stick to safer, calculated choices in unfamiliar situations and are more likely to believe authority figures without question. Their values are also more traditional and conservative. 5. Extroversion Similar to agreeableness, extroversion is a measure of sociability. Your level of extroversion indicates where you derive your energy from. Dog people are rated to be 15% more extroverted, taking the initiative in social situations, while cat people tend to shy away from crowds. Thus, cat people are more likely to live alone, particularly in apartments, as they're more introverted. The experimenter conducting this study, Sam Gosling, said, There is a widely held cultural belief that the pet species, dog or cat, with which a person has the strongest affinity, says something about the individual's personality. And this research suggests that there are significant differences on major personality traits between dog people and cat people. The next time you settle down for a movie with your cat or go for a drive with your dog, you'll know the reason you get along so famously isn't coincidence, but a real likeliness in character. Do you have any pets? If so, do you believe your personality reflects that of your pets? Feel free to share in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our website and other social media, as well as our new Patreon account. Thanks for watching.